Hello student, my name is Bhagyadeep Kalal. Welcome to the, my online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning. So today I discuss chapter number 3 that is the air refrigeration system. Okay, basically before starting of air refrigeration system, first of all things that what is the meaning of air refrigeration system? Air refrigeration system is nothing but it is used uh, air as a refrigerant, air as a refrigerant to obtain a refrigeration effect. So working fluid in the cycle that is the air, basically main things is the air work as a refrigerant and used for refrigeration effect. Okay, so we discuss in this lecture different types of air refrigeration cycle. So air refrigeration cycle is used in a earlier uh, years so because nowadays it not give sufficient COP or not much more COP because COP of the air refrigeration is point about 0 0.2 0 0.4 so now first we discuss about the air refrigeration cycle air, air refrigeration cycle system comes under to general class of gas refrigeration cycle basically air refrigeration cycle is comes under the gas refrigeration cycle it comes into the gas refrigeration cycle because air is as a gas air is a working as a gas in which a gas is used as a working fluid okay the gas does not undergoes any phase change during the cycle because gas does not change any phase changes during the cyclic process during the cyclic process okay so that means it indicates that phase changing means what liquid to solid solid to gas gas to liquid solid that means the no phase changing occurs during the process or during the cyclic process okay next application of this air refrigeration cycle in aircraft cabin for getting or cooling or desired effect or human comfort in an aircraft we uh, use gas refrigeration or air refrigeration cycle and also one more application of this gas cycle is liquefaction of various gases now in present chapter in present chapter gas cycle refrigeration system based on air that means air refrigeration system we discuss air refrigeration system basically this is a two types first is closed cycle and second one is a open cycle system here one diagram is showing that is air is passed into the compressor after it compressed air is transferred to the combustion chamber where uh, fuel is burned by using of this compressed air and amount of uh, burned gases supplied to the turbine so we obtain work from turbine and remaining amount of uh, gases is supplied to the atmosphere or ambient this is the open cycle not closed cycle this is known as the open cycle so what do you mean by closed cycle this amount of air or burn gases also reuse again closed or closed cycle that is another closed cycle okay first we discuss reverse carnot cycle this is the air refrigeration cycle in which air is used as a refrigerant but most of things that reverse carnot cycle is not practicable cycle this is a theoretical cycle but for the reference we studied for reverse carnot cycle because of it gives the maximum cop of the system in reverse carnot cycle it consists now four process one to two process here compressor are showing one to two process that is a compressor are showing this process is isentropic or reversible adiabatic compression process one to two next two to three two to three again uh, compression process isothermal process 2 to 3 is isothermal compression process where heat is removed or heat is supplied to the atmosphere. Next 3 to 4 process is again isentropic uh, expansion process or adiabatic expansion process. Next 4 to 1, 4 to 1 is heat is absorbed from desired place that is a, uh, called as a <coughs> evaporator or constant but this process is uh, isothermal process the process is isothermal process where this amount of heat is absorbed and transferred to the compressor next process first 1 to 2 is a reversible adiabatic compression in a compressor 2 to 3 reversible isothermal heat rejection in a compressor heat rejection in a compressor where compressor is used next process 3 to 4 this is a reversible adiabatic expansion process in a turbine process 4 to 1 reversible isothermal heat absorption in a turbine this whole process is, is four process makes a reversible carnot cycle process okay basically keep in mind here 
two reversible adiabatic process and two isothermal process is used because this cycle we already studied in the thermodynamics subject but for the reference of next cycle we studied this cycle okay so here we uh, draw a pv diagram we saw a pv diagram 1 to 2 is a adiabatic process 2 to 3 is a isothermal process 3 to 4 is a again adiabatic process 4 to 1 again uh, isothermal process and again we saw in a ts diagram 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 ts matlab means temperature entropy diagram okay so cop of reverse carnot is heat extracted to work done on the compressor that means how much amount of heat extract from desired place to the work supplied to the compressor that is the cop so final formula for this cycle is cop is equals to t1 minus t2 minus t1 t1 divided by t2 minus t1 or we can say t lower lower temperature that is the t1 equals to t4 we can say t1 equals to t4 divided by t2 minus t1 or we can say t higher minus t lower temperature this is the main formula of cop of reverse carnot cycle that is a p1 divided by t2 minus t1 next why reverse carnot cycle is not possible why practically not possible this is the main topic of our chapter that is a starting topic of our chapter but for the reference we just take a knowledge of the what is the reverse carnot cycle so what is the reverse a limitation sorry what is the limitation of carnot cycle okay first the volumetric refrigeration capacity of carnot system is very very small leading to the large compressor displacement which gives the rise in large frictional effect that means volumetric refrigeration capacity is very small in a carnot cycle is a very small that's why it required large compressor for displacement okay so it is not possible practically that we use a large compressor for large displacement next is practically reverse carnot cycle cannot be used for refrigeration purpose is adiabatic process required very high speed operation whereas the isothermal process required very low speed operation so both process cannot operate simultaneously the meaning of this statement is that the isentropic expansion or compression that is a reversible adiabatic process is a very high speed process to obtain a, a desired or uh, desired things and isothermal process is a very slow process very slow process because in in isothermal process temperature is constant for that we uh, use a friction less system so both process are very difficult to run simultaneously okay that's why reversible carnot cycle is not possible so now what do next if it is not possible so we use two different process instead of isothermal process that is known as, known as a next cycle there is a bell coleman cycle that is a bell coleman cycle in this cycle we use two constant pressure or isobaric process instead of using isothermal process otherwise isentropic process is okay okay the bell coleman cycle also called joule cycle or reverse britain cycle in a refrigeration system the working fluid is a gas that is a compressed and expanded but does not change phase because air as a working fluid does not change any phase change air is most often is a working fluid next this cycle may be through though of the as a modification of reverse carnot we already uh, explained reverse carnot as two isothermal process of carnot cycle are replaced by two isobaric or constant pressure heat transfer process so first process 1 to 2 that is a, a similar like a reversible carnot that is a reversible adiabatic compression in a compressor reversible adiabatic compression process in a compressor okay that is also called isentropic compression process Com we use compressor as a device here okay next process 2 to 3 is a reversible isobaric heat rejection where heat is rejected to surrounding or atmosphere in heat exchanger that is known as a constant pressure device 
नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर प्रोसेस थ्री टू फोर अगेन रिवर्सिबल एडियाबेटिक एक्सपांशन दैट मीन नोन एज द आइसेंट्रॉपिक एक्सपांशन प्रोसेस इन अ टर्बाइन एंड प्रोसेस फोर टू वन प्रोसेस फोर टू वन इज अ रिवर्सिबल आइसोबेरिक हीट एब्जॉर्बन दैट मीन्स हीट इज एब्जॉर्ब फ्रॉम डिजायर्ड प्लेस वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू कूल द प्लेस इन अ हीट एक्सचेंजर ओके सो ले आउट ऑफ दिस डायग्राम इज कम वन टू टू इज अ कंप्रेसर एंड टू टू थ्री इज अ हीट एक्सचेंजर थ्री टू फोर इज अ टर्बाइन एंड फोर टू वन इज अ हीट एक्सचेंजर सो वन टू टू इज अ कंप्रेसर वन टू टू इज अ कंप्रेसर प्रोसेस where it is a isentropic compression and uh, here entropy is a constant that means s1 equals to s2 here pressure is increases from p1 to p2 and we use a compressor we apply sfe steady flow energy equation to all the device that is a compressor heat exchanger turbine and heat exchanger we apply steady flow energy equation to all the components to obtain a cop of the system one by one so first of all we see the pv diagram so pv diagram of bell coleman cycle this is 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 process are isentropic compression and isentropic expansion process but 2 to 3 and 4 to 1 2 to 3 and 4 to 1 are isobaric process or this process take takes place in heat exchanger so isobaric process pressure is constant so p2 is equals to p3 and 4 to 1 is a again isobaric process in heat exchanger so p1 equals to p4 that is the pv diagram of bell coleman cycle next is ts diagram of bell coleman cycle so 1 to 2 is a isentropic process and 3 to 4 is a isentropic process but temperature increases in a isentropic compression process 1 to 2 is a straight vertical line upward direction because compressed process in a compressor temperature increases and 2 to 3 2 to 3 is a constant pressure heat rejection that is a uh, some curved line 2 to 3 temperature decreases because of heat is uh, it is reject to the surrounding 3 to 4 is a isentropic expansion process 3 to 4 where temperature decreases entropy constant 4 to 1 is a again heat exchanger process constant pressure but heat is absorbed from the surround that's why temperature is increases 4 to 1 now process 1 to 2 what happen in the process 1 to 2 gas or air at low pressure is compressed isentropically from state 1 to 2 applying sfe steady flow energy equation and neglect kinetic and potential energy we can write w12 m h1 minus h2 so h1 minus h2 is converted into tem temperature form that is because of it is a ideal gas or a air as a ideal refrigerant or ideal gas so we write mcp t2 minus t1 so entropy is constant in the 1 to 2 process that's we can write s1 minus s2 because of isentropic process so because we know it is isentropic process so we can write this formula t2 by t1 is equals to p2 by p1 is to gamma minus 1 by gamma how this equations come because we already in, know that in isentropic process p v is to gamma is equals to constant pv is to gamma is equals to constant we apply for initial state 1 and 2 and we obtain this formula t2 by t1 equals to p2 by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma next process 2 to 3 in 2 to 3 hot and high pressurized gas or air flows through a heat exchanger where it rejects sensible its sensible heat to the surrounding which type of heat is reject sensible heat because in air refrigerant no phase changing occurs that's why no concept of latent is used so sensible heat is rejected to the surrounding again here apply steady flow energy equation to heat exchanger so we write q223 this q223 amount of heat is rejected to the surrounding m h2 minus h1 we can write in mcp t2 minus t3 so pressure is constant so p2 is equals to p3 next is process 3 to 4 high pressure gas from the heat exchanger flows through a turbine flow through a turbine from 
steady flow energy equation also in a turbine we apply steady flow energy equation we obtain work of compressor we obtain a work from this compressor that is a m h3 minus h4 is equals to m cp t3 minus t4 here isentropic process entropy is constant because entropy is uh, constant so here we also uh, use this formula t3 by t4 is equals to p3 by p4 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma by using this formula we can calculate the temperature of t3 at point 3 after the expansion now process 4 to 1 that is a uh, constant pressure process where heat is absorbed from cold chamber where heat is absorbed from cold chamber to uh, put a cold to decrease the temperature of the space or uh, required place okay so cold and low pressure gas or air from turbine flows through this low temperature heat exchanger and extract heat sensibly that means sensible heat is extract and isobarically that means at constant pressure from heat source heat source providing useful refrigeration effect where we obtain the refrigeration effect where we obtain refrigeration effect that means amount of heat extract from desired place is known as refrigeration effect so what is the refrigeration effect we apply steady flow energy equation here q421 m h1 minus h4 so is equals to mcp t1 minus t4 so pressure is constant here so we can write p4 is equals to p4 and because isobaric process so now we calculate the cop of bell coleman cycle cop means coefficient of performance of bell coleman cycle apply first law of thermodynamic to entire the system 1 2 3 4 1 all the all the cycle we use first law of thermodynamics so we use thermodynamic first law that is summation of heat total heat is equals to q14 minus q23 is equals to summation of work net heat supplied to the system is equals to net heat done on the work net heat now since p2 p3 is equal and p1 equals to p4 therefore we can write t2 by t1 is equals to 3 t3 by t4 or we can write p2 by t2 by t3 is equals to t1 by t4 because this both the process are constant pressure process so COP, what is the meaning of COP? We already know the definition of the COP that is the heat extracted divided by work done on the compressor. Heat extracted, where we heat is extracted 4 to 1 process that is the isobaric process where we 4 to 1 process heat is extracted and where we work done on the compressor that is a compressor 1 to 4 process. So put the value T1 minus T4, T3 minus T2 minus T1 minus T3 minus T4. But here we can write the MC delta T, MC delta T, which are cancelled. So we are not required to write the again MC delta MC. So only write the temperature difference T1 minus T4 divided by T2 minus T1 minus T3 minus T4. So final COP is T4 divided by T3 minus T4 equal to 1 upon T3 minus T4. So, we can replace this T3 minus T4 by using of isentropic compression and, compression and expansion equation. Okay, we know this equation T3 is equals to T4 multiplied P3 by P4 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, T3 is equals to T4 raised to into RP raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma. What is the RP? RP is the pressure ratio. RP is a pressure ratio that is a P2 by P1 or we can say P3 by P4. So, final COP of the bell Coleman cycle is 1 divided by Rp raised to gamma minus 1 divided by gamma minus 1. That is the main COP, main COP of bell Coleman cycle or theoretical COP of bell Coleman cycle. Thank you so much guys.